So what you can also do is you can slice out different contents inside of uh, this particular image right here. Let's say, for example, if I were to go around onto the slice tool right here, you can go ahead right here and then click and drag around to make different slices right here of objects. As you can see, you can go ahead and slice this object. You can go ahead and slice this object, this object and so forth right here. And you can slice them down into multiple images just like this. You can go around over here and go for slice option and name the slice as well. For example, I'm going to go around and say image one right here. Then you can go around, right click on this particular slice and simply go around and say this is candle right here just like this as well. So that is what you have. So if I were to click right here, it actually creates a new slice. But what you want to do is just select the slice is go to the slice select tool and then you can go ahead and click the slice right here and then go to a slice options right here just like this and just name this out right here and you can go ahead and resize up the slice if you want as well. So now what you can do is you can go around and delete or divide it out further as well just like this as well. So let's just go around and then uh, say for example divide it or you can go around delete off the slide in a slice entirely as well. Now let me just go around over here and then slice this out. So usually the slicing tool is really useful when you're designing web when you have to design the slices into different divisions or you just want to uh, divide out the slice right here in multiple images just like this. So you can also go for fixed ratio slice right here or perfect the squares slices as well as you want click and drag it and the slices are automatically made right here just like this. So now in order to export this you can simply go around over here onto a file right here just like this and then you can simply go around and export this out right here as well. So let me just go around over here and then export this out. Let's say for example, I'm going to go around and then let's say for example, you can see that there are uh, different places right here. So, so let's just go around and export this out as JPZ right here. So this is the candle right here, as you can see right here. So you can go around onto all slices or no slices or user slices as you can see right here. So I just want to export out the slices that I actually selected. So I'm going to select user slices. But if you were to click on all slices, all of the slices will be actually exported. So let's just go around on to user slices, click on save right here. So this is there's multiple instance with the name candle right here, just like this. So let's just go around and save right here and then correct that out. So this is MS1 and this is nothing right here. So if I were to go around over here, a slice option, this is candle. Let's just go ahead and delete this out right here, just like this and slice option is there. So let's just go around over here again and utilize the slice uh, tool itself. So let's just go around and select these out right here. And let me just press control Z and I'm going to go around onto file and then go around over here onto JPZ right here and then save this out right here. So now you can see that you can actually go around and export this and I have exported it onto my desktop. So now in my desktop right here, as you can see, I got this particular file. So let me just go ahead and then extract this out right here. So I get this extracting right here. So let me just go ahead and extract. And this is the uh, file that I have. So under the images, you can actually see the different slices of the images right here, just like this, that you can open out and access right here or you even go around and see that there are this right here. So if I were to go around and double click on this index right here, then you can see that uh, it actually goes around. So let's just go around and double click and open up this index right here. And you can see that this is what you have right here. Then you can see the slices neatly arranged out in this particular layout right here. And that is how you can utilize slices inside a photo bee. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.